Hi, this is Gina with Miami Culinary Tours. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you've taken one of Miami Culinary Tours in Little Havana or in South Beach, most likely you have had picadillo. We are gonna do our version of Cuban picadillo today. Now, sample 100 people out there and they each have an authentic recipe for picadillo. Um, and go even further and they will tell you that their abuela's picadillo is probably the best. But we're gonna do our version today um, and here are the ingredients. Our ingredients are cumin, oregano, bay leaf, salt and pepper, white wine, olive oil, garlic, Spanish olives with pimento, make sure to keep some of that brine as well, some tomatoes, tomato paste, onions, and our main ingredient, chopped meat. So we'll get our pan nice and hot. We're gonna add some olive oil to it, and then we'll add our chopped onion, our bay leaf, we'll add our garlic, We'll let that saute a little bit until it gets nice and soft. In Spanish, picar means to mince, thus the use of chopped meat. You can use beef, you can use a combination of beef and pork, or with some chorizo, you can even use turkey. Shh, don't tell anybody, but you can. Once your meat is browned, you're going to add your white wine. Let that cook for about a minute. Then you'll add your tomatoes. Your spices. Your salt and pepper. And your paste. And let that cook for about eight to 10 minutes. Add our olives with the brine. Stir that, let that cook for another couple of minutes. And there you go guys, our finished dish, Cuban picadillo. You can also add raisins and cinnamon to uh, give it a little bit of sweetness as well. This is very common in many Latin American countries and everybody has a different variation, remember that. You can also put potatoes in it. It's actually even common in the Philippines. You can use this as is and serve it with some white rice and some black beans. You can also use it to stuff peppers. You can use it um, as a taco filling. You can also use it um, uh, in a quesadilla or an empanada filling. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration to try to make this dish and remind you about Miami and that good time that you had on Miami Culinary Tours. And hopefully we'll get to see you again. Until then, stay safe and stay strong.